This behind me is my solar system. You can do your own system like this for less than $3,000. I'm going to show you how I did it, the components I used, and where to get them. You can buy 10 400 watt solar panels just like the ones I have here, and they're only going to cost you $120 a piece. If you wire all these panels together in series, you're only going to need about $60 worth of PV wire. Right here we have this combiner box from EcoWorthy. It's only going to run you about 80 bucks. You're going to run the wiring from the panels to the combiner box. The combiner box will have a breaker in it. From there, you're going to run your wires to the inverter. This is my my inverter by EG4. This is what accepts all the power from the solar panels. Right now this system's bringing in 1,820 watts or 1.82 kilowatts. The EG4 is an inverter and a charge controller all in one. This thing is only $674. These are eight lead acid golf cart batteries. These batteries are wired in a 48 volt configuration. You'll do much better to upgrade to a lithium battery. You can get a 100 amp hour 48 volt lithium battery for about a thousand dollars. So 1,200 on the panels, $80 for the combiner box, 600 74 for your all-in-one inverter and charge controller 956 on the batteries and 60 for the pv wire i'm telling you this system is a beast i don't think you can beat that there will be links in the description of the video so you can build a system just like this now i'm really curious and i bet you are too let's see what this system will run i built this system to run this tiny home so let's go in here and max this sucker out let's put it to the test and see what it will really run okay lights lights more lights refrigerator, the laptop, the microwave, and the air conditioner. We'll give it a minute or so for the compressor on the air conditioner to kick in. It's about 12 o'clock noon and the sun is right above us. These panels are taking in some serious power. Okay, the inverter says that we're taking in 2,270 watts. The batteries are still sitting at a very nice number at 54.5 volts. The inverter is saying that we're pulling 78% of its capacity. And for a do-it-yourself system like this to only be around 3K, I don't think you can beat that.